So this is the uh, the journey of uh, of procurement and the journey of sustainability. And as you have been uh, in a long day, fascinating day, as you were sharing, Oliver, uh, let's close the eyes and imagine that you are here today at SIPS uh, on May 17th, 2030. That's a time for reflection. And it's a time of reflection to look behind and to say, remember, on May 17th, we have been through an agenda, a fantastic agenda. What was the takeaway? What have we done out of it? And how have we committed as team, but even more importantly, as individuals, to change the sustainability agenda? We in procurement. And I think this is why we are here, here today. And this is uh, what has been the driver of the SPP um, setup, vision, commitment. Maybe we can go to the next slide and uh, go into a fundamental belief that we have recognized and embedded over the last years which is that procurement is much more than a job. Procurement is much more than a job because it starts with recognizing the impact of procurement on responsible sourcing. It is much more than sourcing. It is much more than supply. It is responsible. But responsible in the sense of planet, of people, of prosperity, of innovation, of power, of collaboration. So moving forward, what we have realized, what I have realized through my journey is the power of collaboration. Collaboration is procurement or procurement is collaboration and there is an immense power in it. Of course, we know it as procurement leaders and managers, the power of negotiation. But we have a huge power of influence in our organizations when it comes to sustainability. Understanding it, embracing it, being ready for all regulations, but even more importantly, being ready for the change. But as a law, it is, as the agenda is extremely bright, and difficult, there is nothing more important than to recognize that teams are much more powerful and it starts in our respective organizations. But very quickly, some of the topic become extremely big. And this is where industry collaboration, collaboration beyond, becomes to be a fundamental enabler to change and to manage the change. It has been our experience, it has been my experience my journey with TFS. It has been the call of six CPOs to die 36, to die having the ability to impact more than 300 billions of spent and to definitely into that segment to manage the change in the, our respective supply base, into our organizations, but even more importantly, through the industry and definitely creating the tomorrow, tomorrow's footprint, tomorrow's collaboration, tomorrow's innovation. But then this is where the change happened. It starts with me. It starts with I. All the I we have today in the, in the room where you are, on the screens, it's what about my personal engagement in my team, in my organization, in our industry, everywhere. And this is the, uh, the change we took place when SPP is probably born to some extent, at least for me, in the TFS, not only at Henkel, but then at TFS. TFS, as I just said, 36 members today, impacting more than 300 billions, but very importantly, it's an organization managed by the CPOs and their teams together and all their suppliers together. So. It's a massive power of collaboration of people and communities. And what are we doing and what have we learned? 
what we are doing and what we have learned is that definitely to embed sustainability in our daily agenda, in our processes, and to bring it up to collaboration in our teams, but beyond. And to do so, to share. It started by sharing assessments and audits to gain a, uh, to gain a scalability. Sharing that information is an opportunity to impact faster, to get more transparency, to increase the speed of change, and to embed and not consuming or over-consuming energy because we share the results of these assessments and we can ramp up faster. As soon as you start to do this and to manage corrective actions, you embed a new ecosystem. And this new ecosystem has been supported by very strong trainings that we call the TFS Academy and growing the entire community of all our suppliers into all the regions and all our buyers embedded, involved into a TFS Academy. And then it became obvious that we had to go to the next challenge. It is not only to do so, which is a very important impact on that agenda. It is to embrace the next challenge. And the next challenge is obviously the CO2. This is where we all decided that as we have to face the CO2 scope three reduction, let's do it together. And currently we are managing a fundamental transformation, which is to develop a methodology, a common methodology, a language and a system, which hopefully we will go live next year, 2023, and that will be another chapter. But this is where it became also obvious that not everything can be transformational if we go from the top down. We need to have the bottom-up engagement. And a lot of elements in our conversations on that Saturday morning, two years and a half ago with Thomas to listen, has been about that lady and all the kids who had to tell us, what are you doing? What is the next world you are creating, you leaders? And we stopped on that morning and we said to ourselves, what are we doing? And we recognize that procurement, we are all doing the same. Private or public companies, big, mid-sized or small, we take decisions, we contract with companies. What do we know about these companies? And imagine if all of us, we would lead our procurement activities and decisions along the United Nations principles. And this is where the pledge has been created. We stopped and we wrote that pledge to stand up, to believe and to change and to start first with me before it becomes we, to share our knowledge, to share that knowledge with everybody and to make sure that we will leave the right legacy. Having the vision that if we are serious with all our agendas in all our companies, being at 2025, 2030, 2040, it's the time to stand up and to make it together very quickly. But to stand up, we need to understand what is the solution, what is the question to solve. We made a survey. And that survey realized very quickly told us people have an issue of empowerment. People have an issue to get equipped. And people have an issue because we have a lack of leadership. SPP is born to answer to these questions. Answering these questions is to team up, is to team up in a community, is to team up to share challenges and case studies is to team, team up at country industry levels, is to team up to embrace technology and to transform it and to enable, is to team up with SIPs, because SIPs you are also teaming up to create the change, to educate, to foster, to bring on the road. And this is where, Malcolm, we had such a great opportunity and we have a great opportunity to join our forces and to build up on these bases.
So join the pledge and become one of the one million we are aiming to be. We need to be one million. We need to activate with one million of people, all procuring, educating, developing along these principles as individuals, as joining a chapter, as becoming a champion, or to simply be a supporter. And this community is what is definitely the power of collaboration, because with that power, we can definitely make great responsibility, and from that point of view, create the change. So thank you very much for the opportunity to share with you that journey, starting from a company and then building on the development across an association which became what it is today, the Together for Sustainability, and getting so inspired to say we can even go beyond. And this is where SPP has been created and realizing that procurement is much more than a job. It's a responsibility. Thank you very much.